Welcome to the party, pal. You're from the neighborhood. Master Chaos back with you once again for another <laughs> Mail Day Monday. In here, in these boxes, is part of my Warner Archive sale haul. Part of it is here. Part of it will be opened. And you'll join me in seeing what I got. I'm so excited. Also, Patreon only exclusive uh, package. This is uh, in the extended Patreon video. So if you're a patron, you're going to see what's in here. If you're not, well, you may never know what's in here. Uh, okay, let's get to the big boxes because I'm excited. I hope you are as well. I've been waiting quite a bit. And I live in Los Angeles. It's taken... It's taking quite a bit to get to me. And as people who don't even live in the damn state got theirs first. Very strange. But anyway, I digress. Did you hear? Warner Archive is going away. It's showing up on uh, Amazon now. So technically, the releases are still there, but there's no Warner Archive site. So that really was the last 4 for 44 sale. I wonder if you took part in that sale. If you did, let me know. In the comments and down below. Okay. <sighs> These are very weird boxes. Very flat. And, and you know, I, I did place three separate orders. So I'm not sure what's in what. Okay. That's nothing. And this is paperwork. Okay. All right. Okay, we got four titles here. Put this over here. And I'll we'll break, them out, break them out down little by little. Doc? Hollywood here. Look at this. Who remembers Doc Hollywood? This, uh, Michael J. Fox, uh, Woody Harrelson, young Woody Harrelson in that. Uh, this is a very special movie to me, um, because, uh, Julie Warner is in it. The beautiful Julie Warner is in it, and she's in the naked. By the way, if you're watching the Patreon version, you're gonna see the naked picture. I, I'm gonna do my best to find it and put it up there so we can all enjoy it. Uh, on YouTube, you can't see that, of course, but, uh, on YouTube, you're seeing the, uh, censored version. Uh, Doc Hollywood, not a great movie, but I, I've got uh, I've got nostalgia for this movie. I remember this was a movie, uh, the first movie that I talked to my dad out of buying. There was a guy, I remember Circuit City, he was trying to convince my dad to buy fucking Doc Hollywood on Laserdisc. I don't know why, but he was really pushing it on my dad. And I say, Dad, don't buy it. Don't, Doc, don't buy Doc Hollywood. You don't need it on Laserdisc. You don't need it on Laserdisc. He took my he took my advice. He didn't buy it, but here I am years later getting it on Blu-ray because of that stupid memory. You know what? Memory is important. Memory shapes who we are. And one day when my father is gone, I'll look at this and go, "I remember that memory. We shared we shared love of movies." And in my mind, we bonded over him not buying Doc Hollywood. So here I am buying it. But it's a, it's a good movie. It, it's a good enough movie. To own and Julie Warner is naked, so fantastic. I wonder what happened to Julie Warner. She was great. Uh, from Beyond the Grave. I don't know anything about this. I've never seen it, but uh, it's an anthology movie, from what I hear. And the cast is pretty good, if I remember correctly. You've got Peter Cushing, uh, Diana Doors, uh, Donald Pleasance, and David Warner, and directed by Kevin Connor. This sounds great. Is this Amicus? I wonder if this is Amicus. I don't, I don't think it is. There's a really young David Warner in this. From Beyond the Grave. Fantastic. By the way, I've been reviewing all the... Well, not all the... Most of these movies for uh, um, my physical media review roundup. So stay tuned for that. From Beyond the Grave. I'm excited to get that. I'm excited to watch that. Uh, Fearless. This was a gift. I'm getting this for a friend of mine. He is such a big fan of this movie. And he says, oh, I can't wait for it to get on Blu-ray. It was on Blu-ray. I found it. The Warner Archive sale. They had it. Uh, no Features, directed by Peter Weir. This is one of his favorite movies of all time. I told him not to watch this video so he wouldn't be spoiled. But there you go. Fearless, going to my good friend. If you guys haven't seen it, it's, really, it's a really good movie. Really powerful movie. Actually, I'm going to put that aside because I don't want to get that mixed up with my stack. Uh, Doc Savage. You know, I just I pulled the trigger on it. Uh, my buddy, uh, Fat Samurai, vouched for it. Actually, was it Fat Samurai? No, he wanted to get it. He wanted to get it. Aaron, that's what it was. Aaron Pinn, uh, Mr. Cult of Cinema. 
Uh, he vouched for it. He said, get Doc Savage, get Doc Savage. The Man of Bronze. It looked like a, uh, <laughs> looked like kind of a, you know, low-budget Indiana Jones type of thing. What the hell? Why not? It's worth a throw for 11 bucks. No features on it. Uh, but ah, that sounds like a blast to me. Okay, Warner Archive box number two. This is a lot heavier than that last one, so more than four titles, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a lot more. This might be the big one. My first order was pretty big. God, this cuts like butter. Oh, I love having a Chaos Spear. You know, you gotta get one. Maybe I can patent it for unboxings only. Break it in case of unboxing. You know, keep it behind the glass. That'd be great. I'm gonna do that. It'd be very expensive to do, actually, so I probably will not do that. But you never know. You never know. I am working on merch. By the way, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you do, you'll see me tomorrow. Master Chaos comes at you daily. The daily dose of movie love. If you're enjoying this video so far, drop me a thumbs up, because that really helps. Even though I'm not being monetized on YouTube and the only way for me to make these financially viable is on Patreon, thumbs up and subscriptions. That helps YouTube know that I'm here. That helps more people know about me. And if you want more, remember to join me on Patreon. That's where the after party is. Okay. Also, I'm planning on doing merch. Let me know what kind of merch you would like to see from your own top master chaos. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Oh, there's a lot here. These are my these are my good ones. Well, they're not my good ones, but these are the ones. Here, I'll put it over here. These are the ones that I'm. Oh, well, no, I'll put it here. These are the ones that I'm really, really excited. To, this is the one that I wanted to get initially. That got me. Oh, finally in my house, and it has special features. The Hidden. This is one of the great science fiction movies. Oh, so good. The Hidden is fantastic. Ah, so good. What a what what a fucking cast. Oh my god, directed by Jack Shoulder, uh, starring uh, Kyle MacLachlan. Uh, such a good movie. You get a commentary track with Jack Shoulder and a special effects uh, a production uh, footage narrated by the director and, and a trailer. One of the great body swapping alien movies of the 80s. It's an 80s movie, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's an 80s movie. Yeah, it's an 80s movie. The Hidden. You got to get it. You got to get The Hidden. Love it. Next. This was recommended to me by a whole bunch of people on one of my live streams, Night School. I've never seen it. I've never seen it, but I'm a big slasher guy. And everybody said, get Night School, get Night School, get Night School. Uh, directed by Kenneth Hughes and starring, who's in this? Uh, Rachel Ward. Ooh, I, li I like Rachel Ward. An advanced degree in terror. Okay, great. This isn't a TV movie, right? No, I don't think it's a TV movie. I don't think it's a TV movie. Either way, I'm excited for it. Night School here on Blu-ray. No features on that, unfortunately. This is the other one I really, 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 really wanted to finally get my hands on. The Green Slime. This is one of the catchiest theme songs of all time. Of all time. You don't believe me? Here's a snippet. Open the door, you find the secret. To find the answer is to keep it. That was pretty damn good, right? You want to buy this now, right? I highly suggest you do. It is a cheesy, uh, I think it's a Japanese co-production, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I had no idea. Directed by Kenji Fukusaku. What? Kenji Fukusaku, the director of Battle Royale, among other movies. I mean, he made like a ton of like Yakuza films. Kenji Fukusaku... What? He directed The Green Slime? I'm even more excited now. I mean, I've seen it before, but I had no, I, I've had i never seen it in Blu-ray. I got to see this in theaters. Uh, what a great movie. Not when it originally aired, obviously. It was a, a re, you know, uh, um, repertory house. Uh, Richard Jekyll is in this. It is a, uh, um, there was another guy in here, but I forget, I forget his name. Anyway, kind of a Japanese-American co-production kind of a deal. Um, about these creepy-looking green squids that attack. 
Um, some Astronauts. Great movie. So much fun. That catchy theme song really gets you in the mood. Uh, in the back here it says, you ooze, you lose. Holy shit. Kinji Fukasaku. Amazing. Get Green Slime. Okay, next. The Immortal James Stewart in The Mortal Storm. And this is sort of a Hitler movie. Uh, I, uh, Jimmy isn't Hitler. He, uh, I think he's a Hitler youth. I might be mistaken. The beautiful Margaret Sullivan is in this one as well. Uh, you get sort of special features. You get an MGM cartoon, Peace on Earth, and then a short called Meet the Fleet. Uh, now, funny enough, something about Jimmy Stewart a lot of people don't know is that he didn't like to be called Jimmy Stewart. If you look at all his credits and all his billing and posters, he was always James Stewart. I was listening to an interview, and I think the biographer was saying, yeah, he didn't like Jimmy Stewart. He, you know, on his posters and his contracts, you know, his friends always called him James Stewart. So I think it speaks to his character, his everyman persona, that every film fan knows him as Jimmy Stewart. Because he felt like a pal. He felt like one of our friends. No disrespect to you, Mr. Stewart, but... You're Jimmy to me. Okay, next. Guess who showed up? Look at this. Guess who showed up to the party, pal? Jackie. Jackie's back with Mr. Nice Guy. This is the, what's it called? The extended original cut. This one takes place in Australia, if I'm not mistaken. It's got Richard Norton as the bad guy. It's got the finale with that massive truck. Strange. But really fun movie. I remember really enjoying this. You get two cuts on this movie. Uh, the uh, the Golden Harvest cut is 10 minutes ex uh, ten minutes longer. I'm guessing that's the extended original cut. I'm looking forward to, the, to watching this again. It's been a while. I was going to wait for an 88 film's release, but what are the chances that it's going to come out anytime soon? We're going to put it out. I'll grab it. And uh, I'll be happy with two cuts. Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, here we go. Another another Jimmy Stewart film. The Shop Around the Corner, again, with Margaret Sullivan. This is an Ernest uh, Lubitsch film. I don't love this one. I think it's okay. They, they, they remade this movie as... Oh, it was the Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan movie. And they remade this. You Got Mail? No, it's not You Got Mail. Something like that. I think they remade that, but I forget the title of that movie. doesn't matter. What do you get here special features-wise? You get a feature called The Miracle of Sound, uh, the, Screen Act, uh, the Screen Guild Players Radio Broadcast, and the Lux Radio Theater Broadcast. Uh, from they're, they're a year apart. So it looks like they did the radio show of Shop Around the Corner, and you get to listen to it on Blu-ray. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. I don't know how... I'm not a big fan of audio uh, supplements, but... It's nice that it's here. I do love radio shows very much. If you ever listen to a radio show, oh my god, my friend, do me a favor. Listen to a radio show. There's there's play, there's there's some on YouTube. They're everywhere. Listen to a radio show. You're gonna love it. It is magical. It is so magical. Oh gosh. You know we talk about the journey that film fans go on. Radio fans go on that journey too. G give me give give it a shot. Listen to something. Look up old-timey radio, old-timey horror, old-timey detective, western. So much good stuff out there. You're going to have a good time. I love it. I love that so much. And I love James Stewart. Oh, yeah. Next, we have the man, the myth, the Ray Bradbury with the illustrated man starring Rod Steiger. This is an anthology based on one of the great books. One of the great books. So great. I love Ray Bradbury. I've read every, well, close to everything Ray Bradbury has ever written. A lot of the stuff's out of print, so it's hard to find. But I've, I've, read, to, I've read everything Ray Bradbury has ever put in print that is available in print. Uh, the Illustrated Man is an anthology. Uh, I've never seen the movie, though, so I had to pick it up. It's about a man, a tattooed man, who tells people stories based off of his tattoos. And there's some really good ones on here. You also get a vintage featurette. Called Tattooed Steiger. How cool is that? An old school featurette. What year is this? From the 70s, I think. Directed by Jack Smite. Did my buddy, you know, Howard Kresty, Kretz, Kretzek, wrote the screenplay. It was not, it was not Bradbury. But um, gosh, I'm excited to watch the, the, the film version of that. Uh, and film is so exciting. You go on different journeys. You can do anthologies. You can do horror and science fiction. Or... Western or proto Western, not really Western Western, I guess. I've never seen it, but it, it, I've heard good things. Uh, this is uh, Sydney Pollock's 
uh, Jeremiah Johnson. I know this movie because I always use the, you know, the head bob uh, 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 gif of Robert Redford. I don't know anything about the movie except that I, I think I'm going to dig it. This is essentially a, um, uh, a mountain man movie, not necessarily a Western from what I understand. Uh, special features are commentary by director Sidney Pollack, co-writer John... Wow, we are going on a journey, you and I. What? 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 John Milius. John Milius, uh, the writer, of, obviously, of Conan the Barbarian, uh, Red Dawn. John freaking Milius wrote this movie. Well, co-wrote it. Co-wrote this movie with Edward Anholt. What? And you get a... Oh, rest in peace, Mr. Milius. You get a commentary here with Pollock... Milius and Redford all sitting together talking about this movie? Shit. I almost want to start there. And then you get a feature at the Saga of Jeremiah Johnson. That's awesome. Fantastic. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited for all of them. I get excited about things. Like my last movie, The Thing from Another World. This is a creepy-ass movie. This is a creepy-ass movie, my friend. If you've never seen it, and if the only way you've seen this movie is by watching John Carpenter's Halloween, that's the movie that's playing on TV. That's the one that, um, um, I'm blanking on her name, but the girl, the little girl is watching, uh, at, at the end, and, um, Lucy? It's on the tip of my tongue. I can hear, I can hear, I can, I, I, I can hear him say it. Lindsay, Lindsay. That's the movie that Lindsay's watching, uh, at the, at, at, uh, towards, you know, when Halloween gets crazy. The Thing from Another World, starring James Arness as this kind of vegetable-like creature. I mean, that's sort of how it's... Everybody describes him as like a vegetable-like creature. It doesn't really look like a vegetable. This is a really atmospheric movie. It's not super goopy special effects-y like John Carpenter's uh, The Thing, so don't expect that. You know, it's a black and white movie. Gorgeous photography. Uh, Howard Hawks, directed by uh, Christian Nyby. Um, no features on this, but the movie is special enough. If you've never seen it, pick it up. You're not going to be disappointed in the thing. I'll show you what we got here. I'm including my friend's gift so it doesn't feel left out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. We'll say 12. I'll take Fearless out. you got to grab that. 12 new movies in my collection here from the Warner Archive sale. Holy crap. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. I still have to get through the Milligan box set, so I'm busy with the Milligan box set. But then after that, I'm going to be tackling all of these for Physical Media Review Roundup. So stay tuned for that. Oh, my God. 12 movies. And you know what? I don't really have a Warner Archive collection. This is it. I've never bought Warner Archive before because I always miss those sales. I always hear about the 4 for 44, then I get on the site, it's not 4 for 44, so what the fuck is everyone talking about? I got it this time, I was there this time. Look at this. 12 beautiful Warner Archive Blu-rays. Oh, man. I want to kiss them all individually, but I'll do that off camera, I'll spare you that. Okay, my friend, that's it for Mail Day Monday. I hope you enjoyed uh, unboxing those archive titles with me. I certainly had a good time, and uh, you know what? I'll be here tomorrow. I hope you will be as well because I love you. As a matter of fact, I love you just the way you are. My friend, you don't hear this often. So let me be one of the people to tell you. You are important. You are special. You matter. Not just to me, but to the world at large. Please remember that. If anything else, take that away with you today. I remain to be continued.